Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode from the Pokey Community SMP server. And in this episode, we are going to be decorating the fishing cabin that we've been working on for the last couple episodes. I did make a run back to my house to grab some materials and things. So let's go ahead and get to decorating. First thing I want to do is I want to make a pretty good amount of chests so that we can fill up some of these spaces right here because storage space is always good to have. I think I'm going to need some more. But we have plenty of wood, so I'm not worried about that. And we'll just fill all of this stuff in. There we go, so we got plenty of storage now. Um, I don't like the bed right here, so I'm going to take that out. I think... What we'll do is we have an ender chest, which I think I'm going to put right here in the right in the middle. And then I'll put a bookshelf here and a bookshelf here. Then maybe we'll go and grab, let's see here. We've got some acacia wood. That might look reasonably decent as a couch maybe something like this and then another bookshelf there just give us a nice little area for whatever we want to use it for I think the bed will put hmm I kind of just want to put the bed in the corner over there but that's that's kind of a a terrible cop-out tactic um, let's see, let's also make ourselves a pressure plate so we can make one of the tables that I like using so much. Uh, maybe we'll put that right here, I think. We'll put that there, and then we just need a couple chairs, so I think we'll use the acacia wood for that again, just like that, at least for now. I don't Actually, you know what? I'm looking at this, and I really don't like the way that the acacia wood looks, so let's try something different. We'll try a different color of wood, maybe like spruce or something. Looks like it is getting dark on us, so I am going to take a quick nap, make it morning. There we go. We'll pull that bed back up. I'm sure we'll need it later, but... Uh, let's see, let's grab some carpets, and let's do some stuff with carpets here. We've got one door here, so I think I'm just going to put like a little doormat in front of each one. We'll maybe do some more stuff with that in a bit. Um, couches, what to do for couches? How would stone brick look? Let's just take a look at that. It's actually not terrible. It kind of fits with everything else, colors-wise. Then we can maybe do something like this for the uh, stairs. Yeah, I think that'll work for now. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a few flower pots. And we can put... One here, one here, and one here. Now, I've got some plants, I know. We'll use these birch saplings, because I love the way that the birch sapling, the saplings look when they're planted. They look kind of like uh, hostas, if you ask me. Now, we're going to need maybe like a kitchen area or something. Actually, I also have all these furnaces, too. Hmm... Let's maybe make some stone. Oh, I only have the one stone. Well, so much for that. Maybe we'll take some andesite and we'll make a little kitchen area like right here, I'm thinking. And then we can just do a couple ovens like that. So that's our little kitchen area type thing. We can put down maybe some black carpets back here, just to kind of give it a little bit more love, if you will. 
Uh, let's see, what else can we do in here? I, I, we have all this nice open floor space, which I really like. Maybe we'll just do like a little area rug over here. And then, do I have any other colors of carpets? I do, I have some light gray ones too. So why don't we do basic, ooh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Maybe we'll just do another area rug right here as well. Just to give it some variety, I think. Then we can put a good chunk of this stuff back. I still gotta figure out where exactly I'm gonna put the bed though. That is the question. Maybe the best place for the bed would just be like right there in front of the window. I think that'll work. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That'll do. Okay, now, the next thing I want to do is I want to get a little bit more lighting in here. So we are going to grab a little bit of glowstone. And actually, I would really like... I don't suppose we have any squid swimming over here, do we? I don't see any. Oh, there's one way over there. I just want some stained glass, basically. Some black, well, actually black stained glass would kind of look derpy in here. I think for now we'll just use normal glass, and then we'll maybe go take this corner piece out, dig that down one, put down a piece of glowstone and put a piece of glass on top of it like that. Just to give us some extra light in these corners here. And same right there. And actually, if we're going to put carpet down, we can do kind of the same thing right here, too, now that I think about it, because glowstone and carpet. Let's grab this, because the carpet will actually cover up the glowstone itself. but it will still give off the light that we want, which is good. And then I think we will knock that one up and knock that one up. We'll do the same in each of these two spots. So glowstone, glowstone, carpet, carpet. And then over here, we'll do basically the same thing. Actually, we probably don't even need that one. That one's probably overkill. Let's do this one right here. And then call it good. That should be plenty of light. So we should be good. All right. Excellent. Now, I think as far as the... Okay, so let's take some of this stuff out so I can put it in the ender chest and send it back to the house where it belongs. So we'll just put some of this stuff in there. I really wish there was more uh, room in the ender chest, but that's all right. We'll just have to get by. Put those carpets in there. This stuff I don't really care about. Uh, those can come, probably should have a crafting table in the ender chest, just because that's something that you never know when you're gonna need it. And then maybe we'll throw a furnace in there too. And that should get the job done, I think. Yeah, I think that'll work quite nicely. So this is the fishing cabin. All finished and completed. Actually, there is one more thing that I want to do. I don't suppose I have any leather on me, do I? Probably not. Hmm. Okay. I'd just like to basically take an item frame and put a couple fishing rods in the wall, but that... Oh! There's a cow. I see a cow. 
This might we we might be able to do this. Is this my looting sword? No. It's not. Bugger. Okay, well I don't have my looting sword on me. So hopefully this cow will drop a piece of leather or two. And it dropped two. Excellent. That's all we needed. So now we will go and make ourselves a couple item frames and a couple fishing rods just to finish the job. One, two. We'll put maybe... Oh, this wall's looking a little barren, so I think we'll put one right there. And uh, maybe another one on the other side, too. How do I want to do that? Yeah, I'm thinking just just one, two, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and I think I am going to need a little bit more as far as sticks go so that I can make the fishing rods. We do, ooh, I don't think we're going to have quite enough. Is it this? Oh, excellent. We have just enough resources to make what I want to make here. That's awesome. All right, so there we go. We got a couple of fishing rods by the door. We've got the nice little dock. Nice little fishing cabin, all ready to go. And actually, I think I'm going to put torches on top of these as well, just to keep this all well lit. And that should do the trick. So, a little bit shorter episode than normal this time, guys, but that's all right. I am going to go ahead and end this one here. Let me know in the comments uh, if you have an idea for another project for me to tackle now that this one's all done. If you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment, all that kind of stuff. I really do appreciate it, and it really, really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. There will be links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.